Hey everyone, welcome back to the vlog. I normally say good morning, but it, it dawned on me that it might not be the morning for you, because it's not for me. It's uh, the afternoon, but uh, it's, a, it's a beautiful afternoon. Look at these awesome blue skies. This is, uh, well, it's the last of the blue sky we're gonna see for a little bit. The next three or four days is supposed to be rain and thunderstorms, so I thought I better do some vlogging today before the weather turns to crap. But uh, not too bad. And so, because the weather is uh, starting to turn for the better, I, uh, I went out and did something that is going to, well, it's going, I don't know, not impress. It's gonna make you guys happy. A lot of you guys and gals happy. Let's check these blinds here. I got a little, uh, oh, a little something something there. You guys know what that is, huh? Uh, uh, uh. I'll show you guys the full thing in a moment, but it's been, it's been a very, very long time for me and an even longer time for you since you've seen my El Camino. <laughs> That's right, ladies and gentlemen, I got the El Camino back. I actually got it back earlier this week. It's uh, it's bright out, holy. It's um, Saturday right now, and I got it during the week, and I've spent the uh, a lot of the week here tuning it up and making sure everything ran great because I was having a problem with the voltmeter. Uh, the volts, oh, I'm walking through cobwebs. I don't know if you guys can help me with this. I think I fixed it, but it's still kind of sketchy. So I took a multimeter and tested the battery, and it's good, and the alternator, and it's really strong. But for some reason, sometimes when I'm driving, the volts are nice and high, and sometimes they're dead low, and sometimes it starts turnkey, and sometimes when I go to turn it on, the battery is weak, and it just needs some juice. Is that the battery? I don't know, I don't know. But I thought it was the, um, the contacts on the battery, so I cleaned them off. Um, you know, I, I cleaned the contacts and all that and put it back in. And it's working really well, just sometimes it still feels like the battery's just a little bit weak. So maybe I have to replace the battery. If any car guys know, check this out. I'm here on my pool deck. Look at this. We got like total green water here. We actually had a um, like almost a full ecosystem in here. Uh, when we had the, the leaf tarp, which we've dragged out, there was like tadpoles and frogs and all these different critters were just in the actual tarp, which was crazy, the, the leaf one, which has holes in it. So it's back here and all the leaves, uh, the leaves and, and stuff gets hung up on that. So it allowed the critters to sit on the, on the pile of leaves on the pool. And anyways, it was crazy, dude. We pulled it off and then the water underneath was all green and had little like worms in, all in the water and stuff. So we're c currently cleaning it, treating it, getting it going. Clearly it looks <laughs> ready to dive right in. But uh, no, we are, we are getting it going. And so I'll have a, a pool, which is cool. I mean, I guess I've had a pool every year, but uh, we normally keep it a little too warm for my taste. So I'm gonna try and maintain it a lot this year and keep it cooler, which shouldn't be hard. It runs off of solar as well as a heater. So I think this year we're not gonna do the heater. We're just gonna use it off solar heat. So it should be nice and cool on those hot days here in Canada. And uh, yeah, I, I just wanted to um, come on here and vlog. And I want, this vlog is gonna have more of the El Camino, of course, and uh, kind of showing you with the sound and just everything because it needs an update. It's been a minute, so it needs an update. Whew, air out this puppy, holy. So it, it's been a minute since I've uh, shown you the car and that's why I wanted to do it. Look, it is pollen season. And this tree is just, this maple tree is just covering this car in pollen. Oh man, it needs a wash, but like I said, it's supposed to rain and thunder the next uh, three, four days. So, you know, you'd hate to go for all that trouble for it to just get rain spots and whatnot. But yeah, I was just airing it out. Let me uh, take you inside first, kind of show you that. I don't think this year I'm going to sink a ton of money into it. Um, it's at the point where it's gonna drive reasonably well right now. Like it uh, mechanically runs really well. It's just electronic stuff. So I'm gonna get that fixed and then drive it all summer and fall and whatnot and uh, then maybe over the winter if I can work on it. I think one of, a big project I wanna do is redo the interior. It's a 1986, so 
they got some stains. None of them are mine, but with a cloth interior and a car this old, you, you, you get some stains. So I'd like to redo it, plus the gray is just ugly. Um, also, one time I had someone in the car, I, I completely forget who, but they went to close the door and I always close it by this, but they closed by this, which I think is what it's supposed to be closed by. Basically when they pulled on it, it just, it ripped out some of the upholstery and, and the upholstery is getting weak. And this whole dash piece I found out when I took it to a mechanic is a cap. This is a cap, this isn't the original stock. This brown is the original stock, but you can see, see how I can lift this up right here? It's a total cap and you can actually see the original darker gray under there. So see how it's darker gray? And then there's this light gray cap. It's just really ugly. Uh, even the darker original gray would have been nice, but I'm sure it, it had its reasons to be swapped out. Uh, it does have an updated Sony deck where it used to have um, cassette so that's all well and good it's just it just needs to kind of be redone um, this carpet's ugly and that's what I'm looking at doing for the future also paint job I know it's a lot cheaper to wrap a car than to paint it but with a car like this you can't wrap it again with a car this old and so many different owners eventually it sees some some damage so even little things like uh, there's some some stone chips there I mean the whole the whole body needs work it's not bad and it's structural and there's there's like zero rust but it's not really rust that's an issue. You can see tons of scratches on the uh, on the side here. Don't know how that happened. Little little cave in there. This is really sad. This back corner got dinged up pretty bad. And even this corner, something happened here as well. So you can see these these back corners just really just suffered. But like I said, the whole the whole body is solid and stuff. I'm also not a fan of like the dark red. Technically, this red paint is uh, of high quality. It has a a gold flake in it, a very subtle gold flake, but I mean, what paint doesn't nowadays? It just, uh, it, it looks, it's getting to look old. And I think this car was already repainted once because there's stickers on it. So back in the day, uh, before they did the uh, emblems and stuff like they do on new cars and stuff, they would just, this isn't paint on, this is stickers. And that's how they came, they would do stickers. And uh, this one's great and everything's fine here, but check this out. The front SS sticker is totally crooked because when he got it repainted, the guy ordered stickers and slapped that one on sideways. It even sort of looks like he tried to take it off to reposition it. It didn't work too well. Yeah. Get it repainted, put the stickers on. I don't know, that's what I wanna do. So body work, interior, it sounds like a, lo a, a lot of work and it is, which is why I wanna drive it all this year without worrying about it. And then through driving it all year, decide whether or not I wanna go that extra mile <clears throat> to uh, to work on it some more. Let's pop the hood and let's show you the hood for you car guys. Um, some update stuff. I bought this car when I was 15. I couldn't even drive, but I bought the thing because um, I knew that I, I, I would never find another one like it and all that So I got it put it away and then when I turned 16 got my license she came out now Originally, I thought that this this was an Edelbrock crate engine that was dropped right in. It's actually not it's actually original It just has a lot of upgraded things like these these crazy looking uh, blue lines and and it had an Edelbrock um, Intake here and it was a it was a thin little thing with an Edelbrock dish and it was totally for style points and looks but but um, I got this big fat one, which is what it was meant to have. That's why there's an actual a hood scoop uh, in order to accommodate for a large intake for an engine like this. So I put the large intake on there with a different dish to fit it um, because performance is better than looks in my opinion. But yeah, everything else is solid. Like I said, I cleaned those contacts there on the battery and yeah, everything is uh, running really good mechanically. So that's all good. I even got that working last year. <laughs> I think that's enough um, details about the El Camino for one video, and if you have further questions, just let me know down below. Oh, I should mention, if you don't know, it's a 1986, and it's a Choo Choo Custom, so they built a limited amount of these from Tennessee, and Chevy took the front end of their Monte Carlos and put them on El Caminos for a very limited run. So that is a Monte Carlo front end, and then to give it a sportier look, they ditched the um, kind of vertical lights that were you know reminiscent of Cadillacs and whatnot and this model came with Corvette tail lights so it's kind of a sportier version it also has the side skirts with side exhaust that's all how it came factory and these uh, added tie down racks so it is just the coolest version of an 86 El Camino you'll ever find. And uh, this was totally factory. This wasn't uh, some sort of custom job. It is 100% uh, legit and it's called the Choo Choo Custom. So 
because um, it's from Chattanooga, Tennessee. And there is the uh, little official thing right there in the in the door jam. And uh, yeah, that's my car.